between Jim Miller and Clay Guida. Approaching 50 fights as a pro, a nine-time UFC performance bonus winner, here is the carpenter, Clay Guida. There's no mistaking this man for anybody else when he makes the walk. All electricity, all energy, his brother Jason slapping him in the face. Clay Guida ready for battle yet again tonight. Clay Guida has great footwork, ridiculous cardio, an iron jaw, determination and will, as well as an underrated wrestling and submission game. So here is the sport in New Jersey native Jim Miller, and when his career is said and done, he may go down as the all-time leader in UFC lightweight appearances. Since he made his UFC debut in 2008, no 155-pounder has been more active. Outgoing matchmaker Joe Silva would always say, when you text Jim Miller for a fight, no matter the opponent, the answer is always yes. This is a fighter's fighter. Jim Miller back for more tonight. Jim Miller is the epitome of the hard-nosed, blue-collar fighter with outstanding work ethic. Jim Miller's fights are always exciting, win, lose, or draw. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 15 losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Clay, the carpet This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Jim Miller! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaku. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the go, octagon fight, for you this ready? one. You ready? Let's go, come yeah. on. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. He's fainting with the punch. One, two there by Green. Just out of range with the straight left hand. The next there with the punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. That one hurt. Just misses there with the left. Nice, very nicely done. Trying for a submission here, Joe, or so it appears. One arm guillotine here. Looks like he's got the guillotine locked in tight. That choke is deep. That guillotine is getting tighter and tighter. He might be forced to tap. He got it, he got it. Well, do nicely it. done. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at one minute, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Jim Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.